Begin first by laying on your back and setting your neutral pelvic position. What does that mean? Take your hands to gather like a diamond and place them on your belly, fingertips at your pubic bone. All right, so at the base of your spine, you have your sacrum, and your sacrum is connected to the floor here. Many times people begin on the floor and they immediately push their lower back into the floor, tightening up their hip flexors and coming out of a neutral spinal position. So what I like to teach is that we want to find the neutral spine that works best for you today. What does that mean? Let's take a moment to find what that is in your body. Take your fingertips and your pelvis is going to flatten into the, or your lower back is going to flatten into the floor and pelvis is going to tilt so the fingertips are up. This is called a posterior pelvic tilt. Now reverse it so that your forward arrow at your fingertips points down, arching the back away from the floor. This is called an anterior pelvic tilt. So what I like to do is have people continue first working towards their full range of motion. That is, here's what's important, pain-free. So if you have any back stuff going on, it might not feel okay to go as far as you're able to go in either direction, whether it's a posterior tilt or an anterior tilt. So what you need to do, what we all need to do, is work in a full range of motion that is pain-free for your body today. Good, and each time start to lessen your range of motion so you're rocking to find neutral spine where you feel like you are in a position where energy can flow through your body and there's no strain or pain anywhere. Now that might mean that you are in a posterior pelvic tilt Maybe not full range, but maybe you're able to get out of it a little bit. And that's where you need to begin today. If you are pain-free in your spine, ideally your triangle would be parallel to the floor and your sacrum would be connected to the floor and not your lower back. When you're here, your hip flexors should be soft and not taut. This is the ideal neutral position to work towards if you're not there yet. From there, you could go into some of your abdominal work if you're doing that. For instance, a regular ab lift coming from down to up like this. This is going to vary greatly with each person. But when you're up, it gives you this opportunity to feel, all right, is your sacrum connected? Did your back flatten? If it did, can you release it a little bit? And if you do, is that pain free? And here's the other amazing point to make. When you're in neutral, where your sacrum's connected and not the lower back, as you continue to do a few more reps, you may begin to feel the full throttle engagement of your deep core, your transversus abdominis, which starts in your lower back and your thoracolumbar fascia, and it wraps around to the front. So when you start to do abs, you're not just focused on what's happening here. You're getting the effort from the back to the front.